threatened with eviction despite paying rent. Working for you, an Indianapolis woman still has a place to live tonight after RTV6's Rafael Sanchez gets involved. DeAndre, Dante, and Bernia. Kelly Shropshire can spend hours talking about her grandkids. These are the twins. These are DeAndre's twins right here, Landon and London. Kelly found herself in a tough situation in November. She placed her rent in the drop box belonging to the Emerson Place Apartments. So she was shocked when she was threatened with eviction. Uh, we paid our rent. I'm getting ready to get upset. The Western Union money order totaling $635 to cover the rent was stolen. Other tenants also complained of missing rent money. Very hard. It was hard. And I want to cry so bad. But, you know, we struggled, you know, so we took care of it, but we would like to have our money back. Here's a copy of the Western Union money order stolen. Whomever cashed it removed the apartment's name and made it out to someone named Harold Lee Williams. <laughs> Kelly filed a police report and was forced to pay off November's rent over three months to avoid eviction. She did everything required to get a refund. But there are no guarantees. Western Union tells RTV6 that it does not guarantee money order funds can be recovered from the bank where it was first deposited. Bank of First Deposit, BOFD. And that the Western Union Forgery Department acts on consumers' behalf to help collect the funds from the BOFD. They talk to us like we're nothing, you know, hey, we're missing $635, are you serious? Yeah. You know, we need some help with that. Kelly got really frustrated with all the steps she had to take to file that claim. But in the end, she's moving forward. She received a refund for $610. Rafael Sanchez, RTV6. Rafael, thank you. And Kelly did not get a full refund because she had to pay a non-refundable $15 fee to file a claim with Western Union.